What's going on folks and welcome to another scum video. I hope we're doing well. My name is Ray Kit and we're going to check out today's patch. I will be showing you some things in this video but I want to have a quick overview of what's going on in this patch as well. So we've been waiting for this patch for a little while and they're getting this primed ready for 0 0.5 which should be around Christmas time. Should be if everything goes smoothly. Now there is a little bit of a shout out here and um as you can see, there's a few videos, so the devs have actually put a shout out to a few of us content creators there on YouTube who are putting um, some videos out promoting their stuff. Uh, one of my videos, which is for the uh, the very first look at the kill box, and you've, uh, you have Pathfinder with his base building leak, Player 2 with his chainsaw instruction, and my wheelbarrow one. Yes, that's right guys, over 5,000 views on a video for a wheelbarrow. Anything is possible. If you want to start a YouTube channel, just just look at this. It can happen. See? Wheelbarrow for 5,000 views. Uh, anyway, swiftly moving on from that. By the way, guys, thanks again for your ongoing support. I do appreciate it. Um, and I hope you're all doing well. So here we have the kill box. So this is going to be in bunkers as far as I'm aware. It does say here a new area added to bunkers all around the map. Um which is a place where you can get some very, very good loot. Now, I'm going to show you some things after we've actually gone through this, um, just to show you some different parts of this patch in the actual game once I've stopped waffling through this patch update. But the thing is, is this C4 is pretty serious. I'm going to show you how that works. Um, so you have the kill box, which is basically a, a random event. So you've got this place that's in the bunkers around the whole map, um, and you have to find this key card. A very, apparently it's supposed to be quite rare, but it does say here now that key cards can be found all over the map, but there is a catch. All key cards can only open a certain bunker and can only be used once. To know which bunker the key card opens, look at the key card's description. Now, I thought this was gonna be a rare thing. It may be, I don't know. I'm looking at this patch right now. So we're, we're going through this, but I did hear it was supposed to be rare. So you get the key card, you go over to the bunker that it allows you to get in. So right, you get inside. Now, if you don't actually get through this within the first two minutes, the kill box is going to start filling with deadly poisonous gas. So the devs have actually added a gas mask, a respirator, um, which you can wear, and that will stop you getting killed via from the deadly gas, rather. Um, so as you can see, after the time runs out, lasers activate and the kill box is purged of all living things inside. That's if you fail everything and the timer comes to a complete end. Um, so you can see that there's different areas you can loot inside as well. So you, as it says here, uh, the rooms are filled with high stakes, high reward military loot, guns and ammo. These are going to be even more important since all weapon lockers across the map are now locked and need to be lockpicked. So apparently all weapon lockers across the map will have to be lockpicked. Um, this will not only decrease the amount of military loot available all round, but also increase the survival segment of the game. Chambers of the kill box are also locked, but not with actual locks, but magnetic ones. They will need to be opened by the bomb defusal minigame. Uh, careful though, failing to unlock the door means triggering the punishment event, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'm not looking forward to that part. Now, this is where it gets, uh, this is where it gets pretty interesting. Um, so you can see here, so C4, right? Um, and just before I go on to that, it does say here, there are several types of cabinets. Um, one rusty lock, which is submachine guns. Two rust locks is assault rifles. One silver is a sniper rifle package. And one gold is a 100% chance of getting the C4. Now you will have to disarm this. You can blow yourself up when you go inside this random event area, so to speak. So if you want to blow up someone's base and get the hardened loot, I'm going to go on to this very shortly, but you guys are going to be very surprised at what C4 can do. Whether they change it or not in the future, I don't know. If they make things rare to get this, the, like the key cards, the opportunity for people to get these things, I don't know. We'll have to check. But as you can see here in this GIF image, you can see that C4 is pretty damn good. It's going to wipe everything out. Like, it's very, very dangerous and will blow a hole um, inside your base. C4 is the ultimate breaching tool for bases, uh, for breaching uh, bases on the island. So you can see the damage that it's actually doing there. Um, so, and they say, on the lock picking currently, we added a smaller, more common screwdriver, but it only has five uses, but it still will work fine. Uh, now going on to the base building, the base building is slightly different now. You will have to upgrade. So for example, you start from wood and you work your way up. Um, 
So it says here, wooden walls, no skill on the engineering. Barbed walls is basic engineering and metal walls is medium engineering. So medium to advanced, you can build pretty much anything in terms of in terms of the walls anyway. Maybe advanced, you might need to be able to still do the cabins. And I'm really hoping they're going to put some more cabins and stuff for the base. But as it's coming along, aesthetically, it's looking a bit cooler rather than just having these pencil spike traps everywhere um, or bases rather. Um, so you will have to put these up in chunks and you will have to repair them as well. I'm guessing that, well, if you want to upgrade these, sorry, I did rush past this a little bit. I do apologize. But if you place like one wooden thing here, like a wooden wall there and then a wooden wall there, and then you go to upgrade it to the barbed, you will have to upgrade each individual panel. So however many panels you put up, you will have to upgrade them individually to upgrade to the next level. So obviously it's uh, wood barbed, then metal. Um, so as you can see here, the workbench, this is a new workbench, but you, there is a catch to this, by the way. Um, you can craft ammo with this bench. So you can make the bench, put it in your base. You can craft ammo and other things that require it, but there is a trade-off. All things crafted on it have only 50% durability, which we already know can lead to weapon jamming and other nasty things. So uh, rather than making ammo 100%, you can only craft ammo to 50. That's a risk everyone's going to have to take. So bunk, bunk beds. Uh, this is pretty interesting. Um, one of my friends, White Walker, actually come up with an idea for a bunk bed, and we made a makeshift bunk bed, which was really, really cool. And it seems they've actually implemented into the game. Whether they got their idea from, I don't know. But it seems to be logical to just make bunk beds anyway. Because you're going to have bases sometimes with more people. Uh, but I thought I'd just throw that out there. Um, so yeah, we have we have some beds. Uh, some bunk beds, which is really cool. Light sources. So there's two new lights. You have um, a lantern that can be fueled with gas. Uh, while the portable work light can be charged with batteries. Along with the normal batteries we have. We also made the smartphone battery rechargeable. All you need is a car battery and car wires, and you're ready to go. Okay, so you can charge your battery with a with a uh, a car battery and wires. That's cool. Uh, we've got the chainsaw as well, so you can see the chainsaw here. Uh, there's new base building elements, and you'll need more materials to build them, especially wood. And yes, you could use an axe like before to chop it down, but we know you want more power. Um, you want strength. You want a chainsaw. So okay, so you might have to have a ch you might have to have high strength to use this from what i'm seeing um uh this tool is not purely for the fun of it though okay maybe a little bit for fun but it's also quite useful so um and it has its own special sets of animations which is pretty cool as well okay so i think we're coming towards the end here um so it says here so what's the real kicker well the chainsaw you get more materials for each cut um than you would get if you was using that so if you want to build those real big walls you have less trips to the forest it also cuts way faster than the axe does. I mean, it's a chainsaw after all. Uh, there is a drawback. You will need fuel. Yes, the chainsaw does indeed use fuel in order to operate. To fill it, you will need two things, a gas canister and gas. So uh, once you have it, simply hold F on the saw or right-click it and refuel the chainsaw. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, and you can check. It's also got its own animations. So press R for switching it on and off. Shift R to check fuel amount. That's cool. Uh, so we have... Um, oh... And just to add, yes, you can cut people with a melee. And yes, you can chop bodies with it. <laughs> Lovely. Soon, though, means that special melee attacks with the chainsaw are going to be implemented in the future. I can't wait for that sort of stuff. Uh, so we got the wheelbarrows in. we got the improvised wheelbarrow. you got the metal wheelbarrow. I did make a video of this, and I will list this down below. I'm not going to waste any more time in this video talking because we've already been going nearly nine minutes, I think. Um, so we have some new items, we've got some cargo shorts, we've got some new boots, uh, new work pants, new jersey jackets, electric electrician gloves, uh, medical gloves, safety goggles, earmuffs, uh, a load of bug fixes, <clears throat> um, and you can see there's some QOL additions as well there, and uh, there's a, a list of private servers um, that have been given a little bit of a shout out as well uh, down down below at the bottom if you guys want to check that out so so yeah i'm going to show you some clips here guys i'm not going to talk during the next part of the video so i'm going to actually do separate videos for this big patch this was more of an overview that i wanted to go through with you guys so this might end up being a 15 minute video or so if so i do apologize but i do like to talk about things and i don't really want to rush through them too much 
Um, but I really like the way the base building stuff is. Like, you have to build the wooden ones, then upgrade as you go along, which is cool. So the spikes are gone, and it looks like we've actually got proper wooden walls now compared to the, the weird spike things. So um, we're going to have a little look-see. I'll catch you guys in the game. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Welcome, dear convict. This is Killbox, a place where we make your dreams become nightmares. I hope you don't die too early and spoil our family telly time. Here are the rules. You've got 15 minutes to show us how skillful you are. Otherwise, the whole world will find out how your corpse looks like. 